First up here at 10, the Temple Terrace community is remembering one of their own. Last week, Wayne Lazowski was hit and killed by an SUV on East Bush Boulevard near North 50th Street. And he was remembered as a great and, and uh, loving very person. Um, Fox 13's uh, Jennifer Vagla spoke with neighbors who knew and loved Wayne and she joins us now in the newsroom tonight and Jennifer I understand that he even had a nickname. Yeah Brianna many people in the area called him Rollerblade Wayne because everywhere he went since the 70s was on eight wheels making frequent pit stops at the Pegasus Lounge and where he was headed Sunday morning before he was killed a nearby Duncan. Resilient. That's how Wayne Lazuski's community remembers him. You know, he's um, outlived cancer and he's had it multiple times. Enduring brain surgery, serving in the military, and overcoming addiction. His vice, health and wellness. He would roll his blade 20 miles, 20 miles a day. Coming into this Duncan on East Bush Boulevard five times a day, General Manager Denise Hernandez says he was like family to her and her employees. My assistant manager, every time he would roll in, she said, hey, loser, and he would go, hey, weirdo. Last Sunday morning was no different. Hernandez says around 8.30 a.m., Lazuski was on his way to Duncan for the second time when he was hit by an SUV near North 50th Street. One of our customers came in and said, hey, the rollerblade guy, your customer, he, he got hit by a car and we're like, what? Hernandez drove over to the scene just a few blocks away. And I pulled over and asked one of the police officers, I said, was it a guy in rollerblades? Then I said, did he make it? And they looked at each other and then he looked at me and I knew. Since then, employees set up this memorial at the corner table he'd sit at. Flowers, cards, his favorite chocolate, regular coffee order, last receipt and the last photo of him in the store. A real disbelief. Um, oh, I said I wouldn't cry. <laughs> Julie Bible, owner of the Pegasus Lounge, says he was a close friend since 2002. He was very smart. I mean, he was um, a very worldly kind of guy. A regular user of this jukebox. Now, as she plans a celebration of life for him, her message to Wayne. He touched my heart. And so I miss you, and I will see you soon. Now, his sister Terry, who did not want to go on camera, says he was a caring and loving brother who would text her every day, checking in on her. She still checks her phone every day, hoping to see his name pop up. Now, this crash is still under investigation. TPD says the driver is not facing charges at this time. Brianna? No, it sounds like he certainly made a great impression on everyone who knew him. Jennifer Vagelis in our newsroom for us tonight. Jennifer, thank you.